folks. Be wise. Be wise. Be wise now, therefore, you. Be wise. Whoso, whoso kisses the sun, kiss the sun. Be wise, you judges of the earth. Be instructed. Be instructed. Kiss the sun, lest ye be angry and you perish from the way when his wrath is kindled but a little. Oh, kiss the sun. Bow to Jesus Christ. Bow to him. Be wise, you judges of the earth. Be instructed, you ladies, you gentlemen. Murder. Abortion is murder. Understand the living God who says, Thou shalt not murder. Understand that there is an accountability for your law breaking. Understand that you cannot live your life according. You cannot live your life according to your standard. You're going to be judged by God's standard, not yours. You're going to be judged in proportion to how you obey the living God. Christ in you, the hope of glory. He is the one who came into this world to save sinners. Christ is the one who came into this world to save sinners. He is the one who came into this world to save sinners. Don't listen to false Christ. Listen to the true gospel. Don't listen to false Christ. Don't listen to the false Christ. They tickle your ears. They tickle your fancy, the false Christ. Jesus calls you out of your sin. He calls you from darkness into light. That's what Jesus Christ does. He reveals your sin to you. He shows you your sin, and then you have to make a decision. Am I going to follow sin, or am I going to come to Christ? Am I going to be born again, or am I going to come to Jesus Christ? Or will you be saved? Don't listen to false Christ. False Christ who want to lead you down to the lake of fire. Oh, listen to the true gospel. Jesus Christ, he came into this world for you. He came that you might have life and have it abundantly. Jesus Christ, the great I am. He came into this world to save sinners. Abortion is murder. All you ladies out there who support abortion, all you Girl Scouts who support abortion, oh, you're going to stand before the living God. You will stand before the living God. You're going to give an account of why you thought it was okay to murder babies. Why did you think it was okay to murder image bearers of God? Why? Because a woman has a right to do so? Because a woman has a right to be a murderer? You know what murder is? You look with hatred in your heart to your neighbor. That's murder. That is murder. That's according to Jesus Christ. If you look with hatred in your heart towards your neighbor, you've committed murder. You don't even have to shed innocent blood to commit murder. America is filled with murderers. We watch murder on television. We watch the shedding of blood on TV. We watch documentaries about, about uh, manslayers. And then we murder our children in abortuaries. That is wrong. It's evil. It's wicked. It's unclean. Repent and be converted that your sins may be blotted out. Repent and be converted that your sins may be blotted out. You must come to Christ in repentance. Humility. God stands far away from those who are proud. The proud God knows are far off. The humble he knows close up. Oh, humble yourself. Follow after Christ. Do not follow the vain imaginations of your heart. Christ is the Savior. He came into this world for your sins. He came to save you from your sins. Will you be saved? I don't think many of you will be saved. I think many of you are going to perish in your sins. I really do. And that's sad. I'm sad about that. Will you receive Jesus in your heart? I am sad about the fact that many of you are going to die in your sins. But you will glorify God in hell. Every one of you that goes to hell will be a vessel of wrath. Everyone that goes to hell will be a vessel of wrath. You will glorify God in hell, is what you will do. You won't have eternal life, so you get eternal death. Eternal death, that's what you're going to get. Jesus, the Savior of the world, He came into this world to save you from your sins. Will you be saved? Will you be saved or will you perish in your sins? How many of you have blood guilt before God and you've murdered your children? How many? You're, yes, there's one right there. He's humble enough to raise his hand. He's humble enough to say, I am guilty. Come to Christ. Confess Him as your Lord, your Savior. If you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, if you believe in your heart that God has raised Him from the dead, you will be saved.
It's true. The Bible is true. Every word of God is true. Every word in the Holy Bible is true. There's no fiction in the Holy Bible. There is no fiction in the Holy Bible. You guys follow after this fantasy and you reject the truth of the Bible. No, you, it's because of your wicked heart of unbelief. That's why. why. You have a wicked heart of unbelief. You don't believe. And you choose not to believe. Why do you choose not to believe? Because you love your sin. But the Bible is true. Let God be true and every man a liar. Every word of God is pure, it says in the Bible. It says, by the word of the Lord were the heavens made. By the breath of his mouth were they formed. Oh, the word of God is wonderful. The word of God shows us that we can be saved from our sins. The word of God. These nuns right here, they know the word of God. Oh yeah, these nuns. They know the Word of God. They just, uh, you know, they just have re kind of rejected the Word of God. All these nuns. I bet you these nuns pray to God every night. They are, they're, they're here on our behalf. These nuns are right here, and and they're gonna. These sisters, these sisters of God, are right here, and they're they're gonna uh, uh, read the Bible someday. They're not gonna read the Bible tonight. Oh, the Bible. Read the Bible, folks. It tells you that abortion is wrong. It tells you that abortion is murder. It tells if you, you that judging is wrong, and that's all you're doing. And that's what you're doing with me. You're judging me. Everybody judges there. You're just convicted of your sin. You, you are convicted of your sin. I'm not going to hell. I've been freed from the power of hell. No, but you're on your way. It sounds like it. Out of your mouth. Out of your mouth, you're speaking. No hell. No beer in hell. You're going to wish you had a beer in hell. You're going to wish, but you won't be able to get one. You will not be able to get one. And then you're going to remember me telling you this. Yes. But I hope you come to Christ. I want you to repent. I don't want you to go to hell. I want you to humble yourself. Raise your kids up or your grandkids. You know, they just see a godless man in front of them. All they do is they see a godless man. They're going to be a cursor like you. They'll be a drunkard like you because you're going to train them that way unless you repent. And then we're going to have more problems on the earth because of your sin. First of all, get my grandchildren out of your fucking mouth. You are disgusting. No, you, you know, no, 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 no. I speak the truth. No, you no I said that your husband no. is going to train those no, children up in the very is. sins, the very sins he that he commits. He the very, that's what parents do. That's what grandparents do. Because your, your grandkids look up to you. And they want to do exactly what you do. If you watch murder shows, they're going to watch the murder shows. That's right. If you are a drunkard, they're going to want to be a drunkard. They're going to be just like grandma and grandpa. That's exactly how it is. That's why the Bible says to train your children up in the way you should go. That's why the Bible says to train your children up in the way that you should go. Yes. Teach your children about Jesus Christ. Teach your children and teach your grandkids. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves the little children. No, but I know you. I know you. I know your foul mouth. I know your foul mouth. Now you're trying to Exhibit A, training the grandkids. Yeah, that's an exhibit A right there. They're training the grandkids just like they are. Isn't that something? That was a, that was something. That, that's right there. That was a biology class right there. Yeah, yeah. Repent. You got time. You can still repent. You can still have, become sound in mind. Oh yeah. Uh, I'm telling you, folks. You're gonna train your kids up just like you. You're an ungodly pornographer. Your kids are going to be ungodly pornographers. You're a drunkard, a homosexual. That's what your kids are going to be like. The same thing. Yes. Every ungodly standard. You murder your children, your kids. I watch the women bring their children into the abortuary and they give a, a, to, to murder the child in their womb. I watch it. It happens every day. They walk their children, their little three-year-olds and four-year-olds, into Planned Parenthood when they make an appointment to murder their child. Angry? Why are you so angry, young one? What happened to you? You're so angry. You got anger in your heart. It comes up. What has happened to you? You're only 12 years old, 15 years old. The anger of human nature. This is the anger of human nature. This is why we need to be born again. See, this is why the Bible says I'm going to give you a heart of flesh. Right now, you got a heart of stone. You got a stony heart of rebellion against God. He wants to give you a new heart. He wants to give you a new heart. God wants to give you a new heart. He wants to give you the fruit of the Spirit. He wants to, He wants you to love. You're haters right now. You're all haters. 
You're hating on me. I'm loving you. I'm loving you. I'm telling you the truth. And you're hating me. Have I become your enemy? Why have I become your enemy when I tell you the truth? Oh, that's hell right there. That is hell right there. That is what hell is like. That is exactly what hell is like. Screaming, weeping, gnashing of teeth. Christ is the light. Come to Jesus. Children, little children, come to Jesus. Little children, come to Jesus, little children. Well, you can. Oh, you're still breathing. There's still hope for you. Come. Come to Jesus, little children. He'll free you from the power of sin. He'll free you from the power of darkness. He'll make you a child of the light. Jesus is the light. You can walk in the light as Jesus is the, in the light. And you can have fellowship with the living God. Oh, He offers salvation to you. He offers forgiveness for you. But you're so angry inside. And all you have is your flesh, the lust of your flesh. That's all you have. I'm pleading with there's something higher. There's something greater than the satisfaction of the flesh. Because the flesh is never satisfied. Jerry, uh, Jerry, hey, did you change your shirt? I got a new shirt on. You got a new shirt on? I seen you yesterday. How you doing? Yes. If you walk in the light as he is in the light, you have fellowship with one another. They make wrong choices. I don't think they're capable. They make wrong choices. You little girls make the wrong choice. You sleep with a man and then you murder your child. That's all wrong choices. No, you need you need to have you need to have a, a, a tutor, a godly example. You need to have holiness and godliness. And then your teachers the, your teachers train you to rebel against God. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh I come to your schools. I come to your colleges. I talk to you at your colleges. It's hard to have a conversation with you. You've been so brainwashed. It's hard. Your, your, your lack of reasoning. Your, yeah, praise be the living God. I want you to be saved. I think I, there's hope for you. I think there's hope for her. I think you might be the one. Yes, I think you are. No, you are lost, but you can be found. You are, I know you're lost, but you can come to Jesus Christ. He, he came into this world to save sinners. Look at all these sinners in front of me. He came into the world to save 